Hi church, my name is Gillian. I am the age group leader for Diamonds for the Manchester campus and I'd like to welcome you to the devotions today. Now, Pastor Stuart started us off with looking at the story of Caleb and Joshua and I'd really like to, um, to elaborate on that really and sort of pull out a few things that that story has prompted me to think about. Um, what's really struck me about that story is the bond of friendship that the two had. That actually, you know, through that adversity of having to stand firm, having to show their faith in God, um, they did that together and they sort of navigated those ups and downs of, of life together. And I've really felt that over the last couple of years. God has placed us in a community where we can have those friendships as well. And it's been emphasised to me, particularly in the last couple of years, as we entered into the first lockdown. I'm quite a sociable person, but I also like my own space. Um, but it did become apparent to me that actually I do really enjoy being with people. I enjoy spending time with people that I feel nourished and refreshed by. And the Bible does tell us that a sweet friendship refreshes the soul and I had um, some friends who I used to go walking with quite regularly when we could and we would go early in the morning and we'd take a cuppa with us a cup of tea um, and we'd just stomp through for a couple of hours have our exercise and we would spend that time talking non-stop but refreshing each other, lifting each other up, speaking encouraging to each other, finding joy in things that had, you know, crazy things that had happened, ways that we were feeling, um, enjoying each other's company. And I used to come away from those times feeling really refreshed and just glad that God had placed me in friendship, in community with those people. And that's what he does. Those people that we sit side by side with on a Sunday, that we do life with throughout the week, that we're in small groups with, those are the people that we are able to, um, to, to go through the twists and turns of life with. The Bible tells us that two workers are better than one because the labour is far more fruitful. And in the same passage in Ecclesiastes, it says if one person falls down, another is there to help him up. And you might be in a season where you are needing that hand to help you up. Or you might be in a season where you're doing the pulling up. And that's great. That's what we're in community together for. So I really would encourage you to think about your friends, think about those friendships that God has provided you with. And I pray that you'll find a deeper level of joy, of encouragement, um, of speaking life and light into each other. And if you don't feel you've got those friendships, well, I pray that God will give you a nudge in the direction of um a friend that you haven't met what, met yet or a friend that you um, you really could, could connect with on a deeper level because we're in a community where that is available to us and we're not meant to do this life by ourselves. We, we are meant to be in community with each other. So I would encourage you today, say thank you, give thanks for your treasured friends and church today, why don't you pray for your friends? Have a great day, have a great evening um, and we'll see you soon. Bye.